It's a very personal choice where to go to school. For me, the biggest factor was I wanted to develop my identity as a future physician neuroscientist in training. And so I looked to role models who were just a few years above me, and I talked to as many as I could who were more advanced students at Baylor. And I felt that I really looked up to them, and so I saw a future version of myself in them. And so I came here. We have a huge variety of students who come to our program from a huge variety of backgrounds. This is represented in the seven different graduate programs that our students eventually join, as well as RICE Bioengineering. What this adds to the program is just sort of a, a diversity of experience. And that leads to fun and interesting, not just scientific, but also social interactions among our students and gives a really good sense of family and community. I think the PhD path was laid for me, and so I couldn't leave the MD side as well, so I decided that I'm going to pursue this career that applies the scientific method to come up with new treatment strategies. The reason I pursued an MD-PhD program was I felt it was the most direct way to get both the medical training and the scientific training. I knew that I wouldn't be fulfilled just doing the medical portion without being able to ask those questions that were underlying patients' pathologies. So because of that, I really knew I was going to need to have this joint degree to be able to both ask and answer questions that were really important for the patients I was hoping to see. Baylor MSTP really just has the best people. And I know that sounds so corny to hear someone say, come for the people, but it really is true. We have such a tight-knit community. I think we really focus on recruiting people who are going to fit into that community and help us build a really strong, diverse, cool community. So I chose to come to Baylor for a number of reasons. I think primarily the TMC offers a so many different possibilities. In my mind, it's like an endless amount of possibilities. So many hospitals are all within this um, like tight-knit community. It's really nice at Baylor, you get to train at those different hospitals. So you'll be at St. Luke's, you'll be at the VA, you'll be at Texas Children's. All of those are walking distance from main campus and from where I park my car. The lab I'm in, the Shui Lab, is in the Neurological Research Institute, which is a huge hub of translational neuroscience labs, and I think that would be pretty hard to find elsewhere in the country. The research opportunities that have been sort of afforded to me and to anyone here is really is a testament to the collaboration at the TMC that Baylor has established with neighboring institutions like RISE and MD Anderson, et cetera, that really allow you to come together to tackle these big problems and bring these like really difficult projects to life that could otherwise not be conducted on their own. I think that one of the advantages of our program is that we're very dedicated to the individualized mentorship of all of our students. From the second that students arrive, they get paired up with at least one of the directors in the program, as well as with senior students. And those relations are maintained all the way through the program to make sure that they're doing well in their classes and doing fine socially and personally. I think mentoring has been a pretty special part of my journey here at the Baylor College of Medicine. And it starts off with the lab that I've chosen. I chose the lab because of the mentor. And that has been the most valuable lesson for me is the quality of the mentorship that we get has definitely made me a better student, made me more aware of how I can give that back to others as well. So Peer Resource Network at Baylor is one of the opportunities I got to be able to mentor. It's an ability for a second year student to mentor eight first year students as they're on this transition to medical school. So I think it's really great that Baylor has those opportunities to be able to mentor um, younger students as they are transitioning. Our students enjoy full tuition benefits, so they don't pay medical school or graduate school tuition, and they receive a stipend, a fairly generous stipend, which goes further here in Houston, Texas than it does in most other large cities in the United States, because the average cost of living in Houston is significantly lower than other comparable cities across the country. Our program also offers full health insurance benefits for all of our students. That also includes mental health benefits that are included on an annual basis. So I definitely feel like Baylor gives us the opportunity to balance work life because preclinicals are pass-fail. It really reduces the amount of stress that we're under. Now that I'm in the grad school portion, it's also really nice that I get to make my own hours a lot more than I would have during the medical school portion. I think my mentor is very proactive about encouraging students to take breaks. You know, the PhD is a marathon, not a sprint. You know, don't 
overdo it. Students who want to start families, you know, the MD-PhD program is a long time. And so they're very supportive and they're very aware that life goes on when you're in training and they're always been very encouraging and supportive. It's a lot easier to do that knowing that we have the support from the program rather than just taking on mental well-being all on our own. I trained in Houston in the program, but I grew up elsewhere. And Houston has become my adopted home over the years. And all of those principles have been a part of Baylor for, for decades. And I don't see any reason why that won't continue for the future. I really hope you'll consider applying and, and coming down to Houston to visit. We are really proud of the program we have here. Our students are happy. We do amazing, high-quality research. And I think you'll really enjoy visiting us.